I don't remember much about school. When you look at something for long enough, you stop seeing it. I've always been surrounded by people. But I guess we see people in fragments, names, voices. Only what they'd like us to see. Julia, please stop. All right, class, from that test that you took last week on your general knowledge, I'm very disappointed. Your general knowledge is shocking. And so, for your next assessment, your oral assessment, I've decided to give you this topic. If you really knew. All right, you're going to be writing speeches on anything that interests you, but it has to be knowledge-based. I want to... So anyway, you know, have to hurry up and get the touch off. That's beautiful. I'm so stressed, guys. Like, how generalized <laughs> is that topic? Guys, though? Listen, that is know, the answer. It's, it's only so you know what. You That's what you were going to write. But you know what's important about it? Like, you can only I knew that my pet goes. What are you gonna write about? Why do you have yep. a pet? Who can yours write about? Yeah, okay. If only you knew how much I despise my brother. What? Oh, you have a brother. That's hard. You have a brother? That's so weird. That's. None of us knew she had a brother. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. You're okay. Uh, Hi, Julia. I have to go to Geo. I don't want to be late. It's break over. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> if you really knew, if you really knew, does she really despise her brother? If you really knew, what would people like to know? Um, if you really knew, I really need an A on this. If does it matter? What would I want to know? Okay, so I had this idea. I wanted to know them. I wanted to know their stories. So I asked for them. Locker 309. My younger brother has just recently started high school. I've always looked up to him, even though he's younger than me. Um, he's ADD and he's always struggled with learning, but he's very intelligent and he's very strong and he's always... He had come home from school one day and he was in this mess. He was crying on his bed and he didn't want to talk to anyone. close, but we don't really have a lot of deep conversations. He told me that he punched a guy at school and I laughed because he is a scrawny child and he's not a girl. But he told me that the reason he did it was because this kid was bullying other kids. My brother was someone that not only stood up for himself, but he stood up for other people. Then he had a panic attack because he's not very aggressive, so it was weird for him to do something as forward and as started crying and saying how much he looks up to me and how much I mean to him and everything. I think up until that point, I never really thought my brother cared much about me. I realized that the love I had for him was returned to me. Two years ago, my mom uh, 
um, called me into her room. It just didn't feel okay. Something heavy was happening in the room, and I had no idea what it was. She had something to tell me, and she felt that now was the right time for me to be told this. I sat and I looked at my mom, and she she wasn't my mom. She was so that was just so dead. Like I I couldn't really find my mom within this person. The only reason she stayed with my dad for so long was because of it was because she had to stay with my dad because if she had left, she would not know what to do with me. And she she started crying and memories of me asking my dad to be there for me and he didn't show up started to make a lot more sense to me emotionally. He wasn't there, like he wasn't a father. He was just another person living in my house. I don't know how I feel about my father. I think I hate him. I grew up with a very Christian background. My mom, my dad, my grandpa, and my uncle were even past and I grew up through God. I remember my mom always telling me that God is the only thing that she can count on and that he's always there for us. I was a good Christian, but I had never encountered never a moment where I truly believed in him. I have never heard his voice and I've never felt the presence of God. I went through the most difficult time of my life. School was hard, my friendships were falling apart. It was just depression and dark, and I needed someone there for me. It should have been God. Then my parents sent me to a conference. It was a very big deal. The people were amazing. The worship was unbelievable, and the speakers were all from overseas. And I said, okay, God, if you want to prove to me that you are here for me, here's your opportunity. But it was empty, and I felt nothing. If you really knew about the if you really knew, the trauma, if you really knew how much I love you, really knew the what breaks your bones is not the loser. The if you really knew, if you really really knew the history if of the really how we all love sports and sports. Sports. If, if you really knew about, about, about the butterflies in your stomach, the smell of your bedroom, and the smell of your bedroom, and the smell of your bedroom, if you really knew the original purpose of chloroform. We'll keep up appearances, make sure that everything in appears to be fine. It's always been a big thing of my life. He should have at least like talked to us. Really the situation it's been they been will keep up appearances, make sure that everything that they appears to be fine. We'll keep up appearances, make sure that everything that we appearances, that What if you really knew?